morning. It's uh, about 10 minutes to 6. I'm uh, heading down the mountain, so it's a little dark. Ooh, it's getting darker. Got trees over top. Anyway, today is my 25th anniversary. So I'm gonna go surprise Michelle at work like I do every year that she's working and bring her some roses. 25 of them to be exact. Probably have to buy 36 and throw a bunch of them away because they don't come in just a couple little roses. So we'll have to see, I'll have to work that out. Got my partners in crime here. One. Stinkers in the back. Anyway, I'm gonna get driving down the hill here, and we'll talk to you later. So I wanted to do a little video on some numbers, and I'll probably have to start and stop this a few times so I get numbers correct because my instant recall is not what it should be. But the first number I would like to do is 19. Michelle was 19 years old when I proposed to her. I had just turned, I had just turned 20. Is that right? Or I was 20, she had just turned 19, whatever. Anyway, she was 19. And I was thinking, our youngest daughter is 19. And if some guy came up and proposed to her, whether they had been together for years or not, have a stern talking to him I would uh, threaten his life and I would say dude you are young don't mess this up that's crazy I would probably make him cry I am so glad my father-in-law didn't do that to me because I would have ran I would have ran for my life anyway so there's that number. Four is another number. We have lived in four different houses. Now we've lived in many more houses, but we have remodeled why we have lived in four houses. Anybody who's done that knows how stressful that is. And I just keep doing it. I cannot believe she keeps agreeing to this. One time when we lived in Sparta, she was at work and I decided I want a patio door in our dining room area uh, because we needed more light. Now, me and uh, one of the kids were wrestling and and we kind of went through the window that was there and so it broke. So we quick fixed it and then I'm like, well, why did we do that? We should just put a patio door in. So I cut a hole, not all the way through, but I cut the inside of the house apart enough so that I could remodel a little bit and then she came home to this huge hole in the wall. And I'm like, uh, dear, we need a patio door now. We have a hole in the wall. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> That's just one story. I mean, several times we've uh, sanded our hardwood floors. And to do that, you've got to take everything out of your house. One time in the same house with the patio door, I just picked all the couches up, the dining room table, the TV, the entertainment center, everything, and I put it out on the porch. It was a covered porch, enclosed. And we sanded the whole first floor. And there was a bedroom there, that's right. And our kitchen, oh my goodness. Things you do when you're young. I'd probably do it to you. Whatever. Anyway, back to driving. 14 is another number. 14 is the number of kids that we have had in our house. Uh, for those that you don't know, we did foster care for years. We had two biological kids. Uh, and then we had all these other kids come through our house. Uh, we adopted three. And we have we've had a lot of fun. Man, we've had a lot of fun. Of course, there's some stressful times, but it doesn't matter what's going on in your life. If you got kids, you got some stress every now and then. That's all right. That's part of life. 
Uh, so we've had a good time there. Um, and we were actually all together a couple weekends ago for our oldest daughter's graduation from college. A lot of fun. Typical me. Don't plan ahead a whole lot. Just went to the grocery store. Got some stuff, flowers. Uh, of course, it was the Martin's grocery store. Go figure. Uh, but now I'm in Walmart because they didn't have a vase over there. So I'm in Walmart looking for a vase. And I found one I like. It's not really a vase, it's just a tin. But it's super lightweight, and I'm worried that the flowers are gonna tip over. So now I'm looking for something to put in the bottom, like fish tank rocks or something, to weight it down so it doesn't tip over. So, where do you go but Walmart? I gotta keep looking. So I was at Walmart looking for rocks to put in my base. They didn't have any. So I came over here to uh, KFC and they got rocks right outside. Who knew? I'm gonna put them in there. That's really loud. And then when, uh, when the flowers die next week, I'll bring them back and I'll put them right back where I found them. So that's just how I'm gonna do it today. I just need like two or three handfuls here. That's a little better. Maybe a couple more. You know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? But I'll bring them back. Cause I can't have that on my conscience. Just borrow them for a day. Please pray for me. All right, so now I'm driving to Michelle's work. Uh, it's a few miles from here. And uh, the other day, Michelle always comes home and tells me how her day is going, of course. And she started talking about some scheduling issues that she was having with some patients. And um, So I started asking her questions because she's super busy. I mean, she gets there at 5 in the morning and then she's super busy uh, working with the patients and so I was kind of asking her questions about okay so you know so are you busy until seven do you have a little time off you know a little relaxed time after that before <clears throat> you gotta start uh, working with the patients again and she's like yeah about 7 30 to you know eight o'clock or somewhere in there and then maybe a little bit longer and then we got to start working with patients again. I'm like, oh, okay. So I was, I, was, <laughs> I was doing that so I knew when to get there. So it's 7.06 now. <clears throat> and it'll take me a few minutes. What are you doing, Lily? That dog. Anyway, it'll take me a few minutes to get there. I'll get the flowers set up and then I'll, then I'll walk in there and uh, I don't, I think I should record while I'm in there because there's patients and whatever. So I'm gonna see if I can get her outside. I don't know, maybe you won't even get to enjoy it with me. But anyway, bye. So I'm locked in the lobby right now. I can't get anybody to come to the door. They have a phone here, but it's a lot more complicated than I know how to use. Maybe somebody's coming now. Gotta go. So she was super busy. I couldn't take pictures or anything. But I just gave them to her and left. And all her uh, co-workers were back there looking and gawking because cause I'm awesome. Anyway. So... Over 25 years, I've learned that when uh, when you're in a relationship like we are, it's always best to tell her things that you've done when other people are involved, because then she uh, she can't freak out like she normally would. 
So dear, I want to tell you that I, I may have got something today. Happy anniversary to me. Got you 25 roses, got me a toolbox with a few drawers. Now, I know what y'all are thinking, oh, he got himself. No, this is just as much for her as it is for me because I've been, uh, I've been making pens lately, right? I've got my lathe on the counter, on the breakfast counter of our kitchen. No, I don't turn the pens there. I bring it out on the porch, but the whole dining room table's full of stuff. And I mean, there's stuff all over the kitchen for my pens. Now I've got a few orders I'm doing, so it's a must, I have to do them. So I figured this is just as much for her as it is for me. Get all my stuff out of the kitchen get all my stuff down into the shop, the garage area, which doesn't have a shop in it yet, but it will shortly. So, happy anniversary to Michelle, again. So I'm back on the road and I wanted to finish up this video. No, I didn't make it while I was driving. I made it while I was sitting at a stoplight, okay? People, and I wanna I know most of the videos I did with me driving, it may have looked like I didn't have a seatbelt on. And it was probably true. I didn't have a seatbelt on. But I do now because um, safety first, of course. Safety first. I mean, if you're gonna video and drive, you might as well have a seatbelt on. But as you can see, I'm looking at the road, not at the camera. This is not about that. This is about our anniversary focus people so I just want to say happy anniversary to my lovely lovely wife it has been so fun and I cannot believe that it's been 25 years already uh, when we were young um, still dating in high school you know and we were talking we always said you know hey we want to you know I want to get married I want to get married kind of young blah blah this is before we even thought about getting married I want to get married kind of young. I want to have kids young so that when we're in our 40s and our 50s, we can actually go do things. Uh, not that you can't do things with kids, and we have. Our goal in our marriage was if we have kids, we bring them everywhere we want to go. And we did. We've traveled all over the United States with them uh, to show them what our beautiful country has. Um, but anyway, so now we are... 46 she's 45 we have no kids in the house they're all in college or out living their lives you know and we miss them but peace out you know what I'm saying it's nice uh, but they are all coming back this summer and we're gonna hang out and have a good time we can't wait uh, until they leave again I mean until they come again sorry children we love you nah just kidding but uh, we do miss them and we are having a good time uh just figuring out how to hang out by ourselves again you know what we've been entertaining kids for for 25 years so learning how to hang out with just me oh my goodness this lady seriously should be going for sainthood here pretty soon my goodness but anyway Thank you all for watching. If you've watched this whole thing, I am truly amazed because really, who wants to look at me? So, quick shot of the puppies again because they are cute. Tell her happy anniversary for me. Love you, dear.